everyone this is your friend sg and in today's video we are going to create this amazing looking image gallery using react native so in this image gallery whenever we click on any image that image is displayed in a full screen view okay so let's just begin our video and start creating this amazing image gallery so for the very beginning i have created this uh, basic react native project you can do this by using the command npx react native init and then the name of your project after that i have added this assets folder in the root of the project where i have some images these are all the images which we are going to use in our image gallery now to move further we are going to use react navigation as well to do all the navigation stuff so let's just copy this command and just paste it here next we need to install some other dependencies as well these ones so and finally this last one okay where is it this okay this is being installed let's just copy this part of the code and paste it in the app.js file here we'll paste it and save the file okay so this is done now let's just start our server side by side let's just build a project so npx react native run android here we are this is the basic project structure till now so now let's just create a src folder in the root of the project and inside the src I am going to create a file named images.js. What I am going to do here is I am going to import all the images here and then collaboratively export them. So it will be an array consisting of different objects. Each object will be having a URL where I'll import the images. So image1.jpg. Similarly, I'm going to do for all other images. So these are all the images. I have exported them here as images. Okay. So now I'm going to create another file home.js. And let's just create a functional component here. So this is a functional component and I'm going to import from react native okay. now i'm also going to import the images that i just exported there put the images from okay. now here inside the view i'm going to map all the images so images dot map this will give me individual image and the image index okay so it's image okay now here i'll be creating a touchable opacity why because each of the image will be clickable itself so for that we'll need touchable opacity and we'll give key to it key will be the index and for now let's just keep on press as empty okay. now inside here i'm going to create image okay and uh, yes it's not imported so let's just import the image okay it's done now here i'm going to pass the source so the source will be the image dot url that image that we are getting here it's having a url so we'll pass that and one more thing we need to do i'll import dimensions and from that we'll take device height and device width device height will be dimensions dot get window dot height 
okay and similarly for the width so it will be dot width and this will be device width now here in this styling we will give height as device height by 3 and the width as device width by 3 as well okay and let's just give a border radius of 10 and a margin of 2 okay yes so let's just refresh it okay we didn't get anything because we haven't used this home component so here instead of home screen we'll be using the home component and now we don't need this home screen and we don't, don't need this so let's just save it and it threw an error can't find the variable images okay so let's just restart our server and again build the project okay okay so nothing is visible why it's view images oh okay so here we have used the wrong brackets so i'll just change the brackets and let's just save it and see the images are visible to us and these images are clickable as well but nothing will be happening because we haven't made anything on, we haven't passed any on press function so before that let's just do one thing we can't scroll right now because the images are 25 in number and they are not fitting in one frame. So for that we had to add scroll view here. Okay. Now let's just uh, okay. Uh, scroll view isn't imported. Okay. So let's just import scroll view here. Okay, so now the images are scrollable. Now let's just style them a little bit here inside the view. Let's just give a style and we'll keep display flex. Flex direction will be row and we'll give flex wrap as well. Flex wrap as wrap. Let's just save it and see now. Okay, the images are good, but we are only two images are there in a row. Why? Because here we have defined the width as device height by three and we have given a margin of two. So this margin of two is causing problem. In order to fix that, we'll just reduce the width some by some points and see. Now the images look good. Okay. Yeah. So this looks perfectly fine. I'll just format it the and okay. So now let's just create another screen. Show image where the images will be visible in a full screen mode okay yeah so let's uh, make this a view i'll import it import view now what i need to do uh, let's just add it here so here okay so let's just do one thing as well in the options i'll pass title as gallery okay so the title of this page will change from home to gallery so now it's changed okay and now let's just create another stack another screen so stack dot screen name will be show image component will be show image component and in the options we'll remove the header so head shown will be okay let's just close it okay this is done now what's it's giving me an error okay i haven't saved this file yet that's why okay yes so now here we need to import props and from the home.js these are the props and here in the on press function i'm going to navigate so props dot navigation dot navigate to another screen which screen show image and I'm going to pass a prop as well. What will be the prop? It will be URL, image.URL. Okay. 
what's the issue okay okay i did something wrong okay so this was the props now here So now I'll uh, pass props dot navigation dot navigate and I'll navigate to show image screen and I'll pass URL as well. URL will be image dot URL. Okay, let's just save it. Now here I have received the props. Here I'll be using image background. Okay, yes. So this will be imported from React Native image background. Here I will pass the source. What will be the source? The props that we just passed. Okay. So props dot route dot params dot url. Now I will need to give height and width as well to this. So for that I will be using this. Okay. So I will copy it and just simply paste it here. And for that to work I will import dimensions as well. Dimen. Okay. Now here I'll give height and width. So height will be equal to device height and width will be equal to device width. Let's just save it and format the document. Okay. Let's just see. See, the images are visible to us in a full screen mode. Whenever we click on any of the image, that particular image is visible to us in full screen mode. Okay. So this is our complete image gallery. We have added images to it. 25 some some about 25 images are there and once we click on any of the image that image is visible to us completely okay so go make it and let me know your reviews in the comment section for any help you can contact me on instagram or telegram thank you tata bye bye